how do you make sure you don't overpay for development sites or renovation projects or just properties in general? Uh, it's pretty simple in one sense and you need to get your head around obviously the costs of what you're aiming to do and then also what's the revenue going to be coming in at the other end, which sounds simple but there's definitely plenty involved in it and a lot of risk involved in it if you don't put in the time. One of the biggest uh, I guess errors I would say I see newbies making is they spend far too much time behind the computer screen. Yes, absolutely do your preliminary research there, see what things have sold for, what things are for sale, but you need to get out on the road. That's what I'm doing today. So basically I've spent the entire day driving around one particular suburb, getting familiar with exactly what's going on there at the moment, what's sold, what's selling, and finding out the stories behind it because you don't get that from the screens. You know, you find out so much more information, so much new information when you're out there talking to people, walking the street, talking to neighbours, talking to agents, talking to sellers. You know, that's where the gold is. That's where the opportunity is.